everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing some memory planning we will be working on the week of december 4th through the 10th in my memory planner happy planner so for those of you that have extra planners like i do or maybe you stop planning in a specific planner and don't want it to go to waste this is an idea of something that you can do you can use it as a memory planner so in this happy which is actually a 12 month planner, but it goes from July through June. And I bought it and I thought I was gonna use it for regular planning, but then I did not end up doing that with it. So I decided to turn it into a memory planner. So, sorry for any news, my puppy wants to be held. So if you hear extra noise, that's what it is. It's her sniffing around. All right, so what I do in this planner is actually do use a different color scheme per week and it has turned out to be very therapeutic and kind of fun to go back through my weeks and remember what I did. Now what I use is my, I use my day to day planner that's a lot messier. So in this one I try to keep it neat using mostly decor, washi tape, stickers, pictures and lettering. So and then I go back to my messy planner to figure out what I did that week. And I also use, you know, my Facebook, I go back to Facebook to see what I have used. So. Yeah, so this is from Let's Make It Sparkle and I am adding this little planner from that shop to kind of decorate the weekend. Uh, it was a really fun weekend and I will talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Uh, my washi, the way I did it is I just cut out flags and laid out different washi in the color scheme. I decided to do a blue and silver, like a really, really dark navy blue and silver for this spread. Um, and there is a reason for it. The reason that I decided to go with those colors is because I went to Winter Planner Land, which was a, such a fun event in Atlanta, and the color theme for their event was, was blue and silver. So I decided that that's the same colors that I wanted to use as well. Okay, so uh, that quote that I just put down and a lot of the stickers that I'm putting down are from the Me and My Big Idea sticker books that you could buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can also buy them online from their website. And um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing right now, but it seems to be taking forever. I guess I was picking the stickers that I wanted to put on there. And uh, so I got to speak at this event. It was so much fun to, uh, you know, it's always fun to me when you give inspiration to other women. And this event was all women mostly and planners, paper planning people, which are my people. <laughs> and I spoke and my title of my talk was, I was raised by my mama in Scarlett O'Hara. And I will definitely be doing that talk again because I really got a lot of feedback. Everybody enjoyed it, got something out of it. So I think I will love to share it again. So if you need a speaker for anything, let me know. I am available. <laughs> All right, so I'm laying down washi, and here you can see how I do my little side flags. I'm just going to cut it and then put it down in different locations, move it around the way I like it. That um, artist palette that I'm using, I purchased that at Joann's, I believe, and you can buy them at all the crafts, uh, art crafts supply stores. Just look in the painting area. It looks like a putty knife. I guess you can use a putty knife too if you want to. If you happen to be at Walmart or whatever and go to the painting section, you can use a putty knife. There I am laying down the glitter tape, and I will tell you that if you lay anything over glitter tape, it will come back up a little bit. So you might want to put something across, which I or something else, some of the kind of adhesive which I need to do because even now looking at the spread, I have to keep pushing that one <laughs> tape down. Okay, so as I was saying. Uh, in this memory planner, I have different color schemes per week, so that's a lot of fun. It's therapeutic to, for me to go back and look at what I'm do, what I did the weeks past. It's a, a relaxing time. This one is from Chick Planner, and uh, they gave us a sampler. I don't remember for which event. It might have actually been Winter Plannerland that I got the sampler from, and uh, it so happened that the color went perfectly with my theme and so I decided I was going to use everything on that little sheet so that I didn't waste them and I ended up like trying to figure out what the heck am I going to do with these but I ended up just laying them down more as a decor than a functional item so this is like a little silver and blue appointment lab label and then this little flag 
that I just I just put them down more of a decor item. And the little mask is also from the same the same sticker sheet. Now I'm going through my travel and car little folder. And I got these folders. You can buy them from Inco, which is my husband's shop. Um, I will put the link down below. He is closed until the beginning of the year, however, but you know, you can turn on the notification and be notified when he comes back and you can order these folders. He makes them in different colors. I'm putting down some travel uh, stickers from Planning Roses, the road trip one, the suitcase, and the little blue car are all for Planning Roses. And I will also put the link to her shop down below. I think she's still open. And now I'm using my zip printer to print out a couple of those pictures that from the weekend. And I'm just going to place them all over the spread, even though the, it only happened the weekend. I decided I wanted to put them everywhere. And this is a Polaroid zip printer. And when you print out from your pictures from here, you, you um, connect with your cell phone and print them. They come out the size that is uh, exact width of your Happy Planner box, which is kind of cool. So... I did turn this one over, so it would be uh, vertical, but the other one I left horizontal just because I wanted to have a little bit of contrast. So here you can see me trying to figure out where I'm putting it and see, it's exactly the right size. So of the width of your day. And then this one I did horizontal, but I decided that I was going to put it somewhere else. And that's a picture of our centerpiece table setting for my table. And then these little pictures here, I just cut those. I, I made that in the little collage. Sometimes I will put down the whole collage, but in this case, I decided to just cut them out individually and use them as deco. And that first one is a picture of myself, my friend Gayla, and my friend Lisa, and we're holding our ornaments. So if we did an ornament exchange while we're there, the second one is all my girlfriends. That Sunday we got up early, went to the Flying Biscuit in Atlanta to have breakfast. It's so, so good. If you guys have not been there and you're ever in Atlanta, so go to the Flying Biscuit. That top one is a picture of myself and my friend Janin. And then the last one on the bottom is myself and my daughter Tiffany. So I'm looking for blue pens now because I like to use uh, ink in the same color as whatever the theme is. And so I went in my stash and found I found this pen. I don't know who it's made by. I'm sorry. And then I dug out a dark blue friction pens. And later, I now that I look back at it, I shouldn't have used those because they're kind of a little bit too fine. And so the writing is kind of, you can't really, I couldn't really embellish it as much as I wanted to. But it's still, I mean, it's still fine. So Monday, I was uh, working. A friend of mine, um, his mother passed away. I never have met the lady, but I know that she was one of my readers. So I really felt like I should go to the funeral. And so we did end up going. It was a very tiny, tiny, tiny funeral. So I'm glad that husband met me there and we went. Husband. <laughs> Hubby. <laughs> so I got some work done, went to the funeral in, in the afternoon, and then we came home and I, we just kind of... Uh, picked up takeout and had that and kind of had a relaxing evening and then so the main thing for Tuesday was that I spent most of the day just writing it was a writing and working day and then that evening I went to my friend my other friend Lisa she's a 31 consultant and they sell bags I will put her link down below as well I use a lot of their totes for planning and so I kind of got everything done during the day dinner and all that so that uh, I could go to my friend's 31 party that evening. And it turned out to be a lot of fun. And I didn't end up spending way too much money, which makes it better. The little uh, bag sticker that I'm putting down right now is from my husband's Etsy shop. And I just think the little bag is cute. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm digging around for a bag to put down to kind of reflect what the evening was about. On Wednesday, I met my friends at California Dreaming, and then after that, we went to Tuesday morning and walked around. So I did not leave room for writing. So what I did is I wrote it on Tuesday because I have plenty of room there, and I just drew an arrow. <laughs> Memory planning is fun. You don't have to worry about making it look fancy or nothing like that. Here I'm writing something. Uh, I can't really see because the screen is really small, but what I decided to do then is... Um, Oh no, I know what I'm doing. I am kind of darkening the downstrokes. My hand was in the way. I couldn't tell what I was doing. So then I go back into my little files and I dig out a lunch 
um, what do you call it, sticker and put it down. But And you'll see that in a little bit. But right now I'm just going back to Monday because I was trying to figure out what I had done that night and saw that I just didn't do anything. Huh. I watched TV and hung out, drank some tea, which I normally do in the evenings. Okay, here I am deciding that, yeah, it was too blank and I needed to add something. And there you go. Um, yeah, so my day-to-day -day planner is kind of like really messy sometimes. I decorate it, it looks really nice before the pen and then as the week progresses and I add my to-do list daily, it turns out to be really messy. So it's nice to have this one that I can just go back and be very intentional with and take my time. So I really enjoy being able to do that. Being able to take my time and decorate it and make it pretty. So, and I will be doing a flip through of this memory planner. I don't know. I think I will do the, since I've already done at least six months of it, I will do a flip through of the first six months so you guys can see that. I think you will enjoy it because it's, I, I love it. I think it's just so pretty the way that the different schemes, color schemes kind of change week to week. So I was going to drive by myself. Beauty of a friction pen right there, you can erase. So anyway, I was gonna drive by myself to Atlanta, but then guess what? That was the weekend that Atlanta got snow. And not just Georgia snow, but like feet of snow. Some places that over a foot of snow, I am not a good snow driver. So my friend who is from Colorado was going, so I called her and we we drove up together. She drove and I talked. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we went to Atlanta Friday and checked into the hotel and we went to eat. I'm trying to remember where we went to eat. I know we went to Walmart. I can't remember where we went to eat. It was so cold. I know that it was super cold. Oh, you know what? I think what we did, did we buy food and come back? No, I don't remember. Let me not lie. We went out to eat somewhere and then came back and went to the hotel and checked in. And then all day Saturday was the big giant winter planner land. So, so, so much fun if you're in the Atlanta area or even if you want to travel there for it, I totally recommend it. Okay, so here's my entire spread. On Sunday we went shopping and then I'm trying to figure out what to do with the left sidebar because I always like to put a quote there. And um, so I'm looking back through my little winter planner, land, not winter planner, land, happy planner sticker books to put a quote there. Got a little typewriter because I did do some work and I just wanted to add something blue on the bottom and then a quote. So I will be putting all the links down below. Look for the next day. Uh, I will be doing two more videos. So look for the next one and I will be doing a flip through of this book and then uh, information on how I am planning for 2018. I'm looking forward. I'm so excited about sharing all this different stuff with you. If you have anything that you would like to ask me or different videos that you would like to see, please, please, please let me know so that I can post it and um, yeah, we can find out more about how I plan and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.